Yeah, it's like a South by Southwest for the cannabis culture. Exactly. Essentially what Hall of Flowers is known to be. You know, it's a great place to meet buyers and meet owners. So. Owners is key. License holders, decision makers go to mm-hmm. Hall of Flowers. What did you guys think of this last Hall of Flowers that just happened in at Santa Rosa? People telling me the entire time, wow, this is much smaller than years past that I didn't get to go. And I think it goes to what Steven said. It's a time to where people are feeling it. Let it be shops, let it be brands. It's yeah. tough to put ten to fifteen thousand dollars up front to get the ROI that takes time to get that ROI, right? I went to the first Palm Springs one. I went to this one, which to me they both were the same. Like what I saw in Santa Rosa was what I saw in Palm Springs. I mean I saw more celebrities at Palm Springs, but I think that was just because it was the very first one yeah. in Palm Springs. I saw exhibit there. I saw Ricky Williams. Be Real was there. Burner. Like, everyone showed up. Where at this one, I just saw Burner through your camera. <laughs> I've been to every single Hall of Flowers. Wow. Whether it was as the LBCA, whether it was as a retail with Chronic, manning a booth with Labplex, and then going as the gang right now. My Hall of Flowers experiences, unfortunately, started off terrific. Where I was like, this is the one place you can't miss no matter what, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. To, to me leaving this last one. And I love the Hall of Flowers team, but, like, this one was depressing. Man, and it really reflected the state of the industry. 